Hey folks, I'm here with the Razor Eco Smart Metro Scooter. A couple of kids, I thought I would do a video review of the Razor Eco Smart Metro Scooter. Had this about three weeks. And so, a couple of things that folks want to know as they're considering a purchase of the Razor Eco Smart Metro uh, how far it'll go. So far, I've managed on a full charge to extend the range of the Razor Eco Smart Metro to about seven miles. Uh, if you're on a flat surface, you could probably get upwards of 10 miles with, with the scooter on a full charge. Where I live, it happens to be kind of hilly, so the, the range that I've managed to get so far is about seven uh, miles, maybe eight miles at the absolute maximum. So another thing that folks want to know uh, with the Razor Eco Smart Metro is uh, how fast it'll go. It's rated at a top speed of 18 miles per hour. Of course, if you're going downhill, you know, it, you can get upwards of 20, maybe even 25 miles per hour, depending on the incline and the, uh, the length of the slope. So for the size of the frame and the build of the frame, about as fast as you're wanna, gonna wanna go with this is about 25 miles per hour, but it's rated at 18 miles per hour. That is on a flat surface. If you're hitting the accelerator full blast, you're gonna get up around 18 miles per hour. Okay, so folks wanna know how long it takes to charge the, the battery, which is down here. This is the battery on the Razor EcoSmart Metro. It takes up, you know, it, the owner's manual says about 12 hours, but what I found is that you can get a full charge in about two and a half hours. Uh, yesterday, Daddy, hey, Daddy, I really fast. you are really fast. Give me five. Uh, so what I found yesterday when I took it over to the gym, which was about six miles away, was I charged it for two and a half hours at the gym, and I had enough charge to get home and, and then some. Uh, here's your charging unit. So it charges into a regular 12 volt, you know, U.S. Canadian outlet. Uh, the battery in charges with an XLR cable. It actually plugs into the side. I'll do a close up here in a moment. So it's got an indicator light, which will light red when the battery is in need of a charge and then it lights up green when it's basically full. Uh, so you got a handy indicator light on the actual uh, charging unit. Now some reviews have said that these things break easily. You know, I've had it for three weeks and I've been tugging it around to various locations and knock on wood, haven't had, a, haven't had an issue yet either. Uh, other features, the basket comes standard. Uh, this basket at the back comes standard on the Razor Eco Smart Metro. Uh, added a nice DOT rated Raider helmet, which is required by state law uh, where I live. Uh, other things, the tires are 16 inch pneumatic tires, meaning you know they have a tube inside that you can fill up, so it gives it a, a, a pretty good cushion over most terrain situations. Not really an off-road scooter, it's, it's more of a sidewalk uh, or street scooter is ideal. It has a kickstand on the side back here, bamboo standing board so you can stand up on it. The frame is fairly heavy duty, uh, like, like a bicycle frame, very solid. We've added a bell, which is handy if you're coming up behind people. Uh, and we also have solar powered lights uh, on the front and then on the tail back here on the back. Right, so here's the uh, tail light, which I recommend if you're planning to do any, uh, you know, night riding. Um, it's a great little light. This one's solar powered. As you can see, it's got a little solar uh, charger. Uh, I bought the, the tail light and the front light, which I'll show here in a minute, um, for about 20 bucks. So the front light. And then as I said a minute ago, the bell is handy if you're coming up behind people on the sidewalk because this thing rides almost virtually silent. So if folks are walking along and, and not really paying attention to, you know, to where they are, uh, it's handy to have the bell to just give them a nice little warning. And I found that the chime of the bell is, is a little bit more friendly than, you know, than say a horn. So the, uh, the brake, so the brake works with a hand lever action. Uh, so the accelerator, um, Works a little bit like a motorcycle accelerator. Make sure this thing is also didn't take off here. So it turns like this, and it has a you know tension in it to automatically release. Uh, but it it's a hand crank accelerator. On the side, uh, this is another potential design uh, flaw or, or, or area for improvement. It, it does not operate with a key. It is an on-off switch, as you can see here. 
And so if you're leaving this thing out in public, say at a bike rack or at a gym or at work, outdoors, you absolutely need to lock it up because anybody could get on it, of course, uh, and be able to turn it on. Uh, so because it is not key operated, you know, that, that, that's an area I think they could improve it if it had a simple key. But on the other side of that, I guess it's easy to turn on and off if, as long as you're locking it up uh, well. So what I would recommend is getting yourself a, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got a cable master lock down in the basket there, which is pretty handy for, for locking the frame of the bike up to a bike rack or the scooter up to a bike rack. Uh, Kickstand, you can probably see, come standard on it. Uh, it moves around a little bit. I haven't, I haven't tightened it up too much, so uh, you may be able to tighten it with a simple screw underneath. Uh, the XLR port, as you can see on the side there, is where you, you charge it up. So you plug that into uh, the charging unit. And again, it'll charge in about. What I found in actual user, in a user situation, is it'll charge in about two and a half hours. Uh, so the motor is on this side of the unit. It's this big metal drum here. Now this thing gets hot. It does have a warning that comes on it. But, uh, you know, another critique, if you look at some of the higher end electric scooters, they actually have that motor covered up. I have yet to burn myself with it, but uh, it'll get pretty hot when it's uh, in operation. You know, somebody with a thoughtful, nice design actually encased the chain. So the chain is inside of this plastic here. So the chain stays protected from dirt and grime and uh, and that sort of thing. All right, so we're going to do a little demo here to show you how fast it'll accelerate and brake. I'll take it back up and down the court one time here. So first, got to turn it on, switch on the side. It's I'm on. Doing, can I join your demo? Ready to go. Can we join your demo? There you have it, the Razor EcoSmart Metro Scooter.